Real quick, before we get this video underway, I wanted to give a big, big shout out to Lopsided Ad3914, who made this amazing graphic on the Hab subreddit. The title is this. Isan al Ghaib. And if you've seen the Dune movies, you know exactly what that means. It means the guy is the prophecy, he is the promised figure, he is the messiah to be. And the image included is Uri Slavkovsky as Paul. Which is nice. But today's video is talking about the game against the Philadelphia Flyers. And I'll say right off the bat, we are not going to be talking about any disallowed goals. Please. Flyers fans, Canadians fans, I get it. It's like the most demoralizing part of the game to see goals get up on the board and then see them get taken away right after. Whether or not they're valid or invalid in the ways that they were taken off the board, who really cares? Let's talk about the goals that actually were scored and the fact that even though the Canadians came out of this game with a win against the Philadelphia Flyers 4-1, we still had some really good numbers coming out of today's game. Because the first goal of the game was scored by Nick Suzuki on the power play, assisted by Yuri Slavkovsky and Mike Matheson. This was one of these patented Nick Suzuki goals, maybe not the kind that you're used to where he walks right in from distance and snipes it up on a goaltender's glove side. Instead, he's camped out on the side of the goal, the pass comes across, Suzuki corrals it, he takes the shot, it goes right in. Now, with Yuri Slavkovsky getting a point on this goal, that is officially his 41st point of the NHL season. And the best part about this is that it actually breaks a Montreal Canadiens record. Here was the record from before. Yuri Slavkovsky and Henri Richard were tied for the most points by a player younger than 20 for the Canadiens in a season with 40 points. The list isn't updated at the time of recording this audio and getting the screenshot, but Slavkovsky was tied with Henri Richard, the pocket rocket. He had overtaken Mario Tremblay. He had overtaken Stefan Richet, Jesperi Kotkaniemi, Alex Galchenyuk, Peter Zoboda, and a whole bunch of other guys. You can scroll down and see just some pretty interesting names. Not too many legends, though. Like, I get it. You could say that some of these guys are legends, like Bernie Boom Boom only had 19 points, for example, but... All in all, the record for most points in a Canadian season for a player under than 20 was tied up until now. It has now officially been broken, and it comes at the best time possible because Yuri Slavkovsky actually turns 20 in two days. So if there was a time for him to go out there and break this record, it was now. This was the last game for him to go out there and do that. So good on him for setting a new Montreal Canadiens record for most points, besting out literally the most decorated Stanley Cup winning human being in the history of the world. Yeah, Henri Richard was pretty good if I do say so myself. Now going over to the 2-0 goal scored by the Montreal Canadiens, it was Jesse Alonen with his fourth, assisted by Struble and Nick Suzuki, but realistically, a whole bunch of Canadians touched the puck on this shift. It was moved around really nicely, cycled out in front, the shot, the rebound, and Alonen is there to put it in. Just some good puck movement on a Flyers team that the Canadiens pretty much took two the entire game. Suzuki now has 69 points on the year with 30 goals and 39 assists, so Captain Nick is pretty much putting up one of the best seasons we have seen for the Canadians in a while. I'm not going to say in too long, but in a while, a long enough amount of time that we could actually pay attention to it, but that is all she wrote in the first period in terms of scoring. In the third period, this is where we saw the remainder of the goals. Yoel Armia scored an empty net, assisted by Matheson and Gooley. Owen Tippett then scored one more to actually give the Philadelphia Flyers a goal in this game. And then Jake Evans got another empty netter, assisted by Matheson and Armia. So, Mike Matheson with three assists tonight. That is pretty good, if I do say so myself. And ultimately, for the Montreal Canadiens, they walk out of this game with some pretty good milestones, good individual performances. You like to see guys on the team producing in the ways that they are, especially when they're record-breaking, record-setting points being put up, like what Yuri Slavkovsky did to beat Henri Richard. I saw some people joking around on the Canadian subreddit saying, yeah, this is just part one of the records that Slavkovsky's got to break. Next up, he's got to break 10 or 11 Stanley Cups and beat Richard that way, because we know that's definitely possible in today's day and age of hockey being played. 
if Slavkovsky becomes a 10 times Stanley Cup champion, then I'll eat my hat, but we've got at least a decade to go before that happens. A lot of people have been hyped up for Caden Primo as well, because he got the win, he only had one goal against, and this is, I think, what is it, the third game in a row with one goal against? The Habs have been starting to string together some pretty good defensive coverage. And sure, talk about all the disallowed goals you want. At the end of the day, nobody looks at the box score and says, oh yeah, disallowed goal, disallowed goal, disallowed goal. They say, oh, they only had one goal. The Flyers did not score until the very end of the game with one minute and one second to go. So at the end of the day, the Canadians walk out of this entire showcase with a pretty good record on their hands. And I will say that when it comes to Uri Slavkovsky, I think that's probably the biggest story here, especially when it comes to ruining a potential playoff run like the Philadelphia Flyers have. It's been pretty tight for that final wildcard spot and that last spot in the Metro Division, and for the Philadelphia Flyers to lose a game like this in a game where honestly they probably should have had a lot more go their way, that is ultimately like the most frustrating thing imaginable, especially when you consider the playoff odds and how Philadelphia wasn't guaranteed and I don't know, there are a lot of other playoff implications now. Ottawa's winning games now, too, so that's going to be interesting to watch. Washington just beat Detroit the other night. We'll see if they're able to bounce back and keep up their wild card or final Metro spot bid. But Montreal is acting as the punisher in this situation. Sure, you would like to see them lose a few more games for the tank, but with Ottawa winning earlier today, and with Montreal themselves having also a pretty good cushion near the bottom of the NHL, a win once in a while, especially three, maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. Plus, the Canadians still have like a, what, 7% chance of getting first overall? It's not too different from when they were fourth or fifth overall in the standings. Either way, it's okay. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Montreal Canadiens going out there and winning against the Flyers. Nick Suzuki scoring his 30th goal and 69th point of the season. Yuri Slavkovsky getting his 41st point of the year, besting out Henri Richard's record for U20 Montreal Canadiens single season scoring. He is literally the best guy ever to do it. Which is kind of misleading because all the other Canadiens legends of the past didn't really have the same let's just say, point production in their teen years. I mean, Guy Lafleur is not on the list. Maurice Richard's not on the list. Howie Morenz is not on the list. Steve Schutt's not on the list. A lot of guys are not on the list here near the top of top Canadians players to have gotten points before the age of 20. But either way, Slavkovsky, he's done it. Sure, you could very well say that Slavkovsky did it in seven more games or eight more games than Henri Richard did, which kind of makes it a little bit worse. But when you're comparing him to actual legends of the NHL, I think giving a little bit of leeway is fine. Like, if he's not matching Henri Richard in terms of points per game, I think that's totally okay, because the ceiling there of what Henri was able to accomplish was just so darn high. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Canadians beating the Philadelphia Flyers, Slavkovsky setting the record, and all these other great statistics that we had talked about. Also, you could let me know your thoughts as to the disallowed goals too. I didn't want to focus on those in this video because there were just too many. Like, I don't want to break down all the disallowed goals. That's like not entertaining. It's not fun. We don't like disallowed goals here because it's literally the antithesis of scoring. But either way, thoughts in the comment section below about the Canadians and the Flyers. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.